Hey everyone, it's Mike Chen. Towards the end of last week, NASA has been hinting at a major announcement for Monday. And uh, yesterday, we received word that an alien invasion is imminent and is led by E.T. See, we should never have let him phone home. So even though the chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one, but they still come. Okay, nothing so dramatic and apocalypsy, but researchers did announce that despite its reputation as a dusty, desolate, and lifeless place, water or liquid salt water to be exact still flows across the surface of Mars from time to time, which makes Mars another place that has more water right now than California. This discovery is a potential breakthrough in our hopes to one day travel and live on Mars. It also fuels speculation that if life ever did exist on Mars, Mars, it could still be there today. John Groundsfeld, Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate at NASA said, the existence of liquid water, even if it is super salty, briny water, gives the possibility that if there's life on Mars, that we have a way to describe how it might survive. NASA researchers confirmed the watery flows by using an imager from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which unfortunately only observes the surface every day at 3 p.m. when Mars is at its hottest and driest. Meaning, if there was any liquid water, it would have evaporated by the time the orbiter can take a look. However, researchers discovered that something left dark streaks on the surface of the planet, as whatever is flowing on Mars is hydrating the salt, and the salt had water molecules interspersed in the crystal structures, which is pretty strong evidence that they were deposited by flowing water. Scientists are unsure where the water comes from, but theories include melting subsurface ice, salty liquid water aquifers, or it could be condensed out of the thin Martian atmosphere. This is of course not the first discovery of water on Mars. Researchers have known for many years that Mars has water frozen at its poles, its atmosphere, and most recently in little tiny puddles that appear to form at night on the surface when Martians go NP. But the discovery of flowing water could point NASA towards the most promising sites to search for life on Mars and even landing spots for future human missions where water can be collected from a natural supply. You know, this is a really interesting discovery and uh, is it bad that the first thing that pops into my head was at least now Matt Damon won't go thirsty and it'll be really easy for him to grow potatoes. But I'm also conflicted. I mean, does he really deserve water after what he did to Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar? But seriously, Matt Damon must have found Aladdin lamp and one of his wishes was to get a lot of media attention for his new movie. I mean, come on, what are the chances? NASA hardly ever makes such a big deal announcement and uh, the day they announced they found flowing water on Mars is the week Matt Damon's movie titled The Martian comes out. And the whole movie from what I can tell is basically Matt Damon trying to grow food and survive on Mars where water would have really come in handy. So if that's not some kind of magical genie wish, I don't know what is. Also, I mentioned this before, but wouldn't it be hilarious if we were to find evidence that millions of years ago, the Martians actually built spaceships to colonize Earth because they basically ruined Mars and now we're trying to go back to a planet that we escaped from. And we're thinking the whole time, oh cool, a brand new planet that no one's ever inhabited before. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about this new discovery and uh, let me know what you would think would happen if you drink Martian water. Do you think nothing will happen or you get superpowers or start growing extra arms? Thanks for watching everybody. See you later.